the link that we have to Alaska, which is interesting, just saying that phrase, um, most of the dinosaurs in New Mexico are also found in this region of southern Alaska, the Aniakchak National Monument and Preserve, mm-hmm. correct? How, how is that possible, and, and how do you know that there's a relationship there? That's a great question, and we could spend the rest of today talking about just that one issue, but okay. we won't. <laughs> I'm um, excited. I'm ready. The... The geo- people think of the Bering Land Bridge in the context of woolly mammoths, um, early peopling of North America, et cetera. But the, the geologic plates that create that land bridge were actually in place somewhere around 100 to 120 million years ago. So that land bridge has got a lot of antiquity to it. If you could somehow magically have a satellite image of that part of the world let's say 70 million years ago, it would look vaguely familiar because the northern and southern boundaries of Alaska are kind of in place by that time. And so like plants and animals do today, they expand and contract their ranges. And so these dinosaurs, based on the fossil record in places like Mongolia, the Gobi Desert, northern China, the origins, the most primitive forms of these dinosaurs can be found there. And then you see this progression of dinosaurs through Alaska down Western North America and coming into New Mexico, where they, by that time, have evolved into different species than what we saw back in Asia. 